My phone of choice is the Pixel 2, which has been my daily driver since last December. My favorite feature by far has to be the camera, which takes incredible photos with great depth of field and fine details. Stock Android on the Pixel 2 has been very pleasant to use, it's simple yet functional. Front facing speakers are loud and crisp, and I absolutely love Google's unlimited photo storage which allows me to take as many pictures as I want and I can access them on all my devices through the cloud. If you haven't seen my Pixel 2 review, I'll leave a link down below. This is the 15 inch MacBook Pro from 2015. I bought this laptop last year refurbished for around 1700 US dollars and I have had zero issues so far. Unlike the newer model, the 2015 version still has all the ports and an SD card slot which can come in handy when working remotely. Video editing has been a breeze and overall it's just a great machine for work and entertainment. The MX Anywhere 2S is actually my backup travel mouse as my primary mouse is the MX Master, which is a much bigger mouse that I mainly use for work. The cordless Bluetooth enabled mouse is petite and light and it's been a great tool to bring along for traveling. The battery lasts up to 70 days and I can charge it via USB connector so no AAA batteries required. It's got some neat features like hyper fast scrolling, easy switch button to connect to multiple devices, and the new cross computer control which allows you to seamlessly control more than one device and even copy and paste content and documents between those computers. The Gear Icon X is my first pair of truly wireless earbuds, and as questionable as I felt when I first purchased them, I gotta say they've been working very well and did not disappoint. The sound quality is great, and the built-in battery provides around 6 hours of usage, and if they run out of juice, I can simply place them inside the carrying case to get another full charge. The case can be quick charged via USB-C, which is awesome because I can use my phone charger to power my case without needing a different cable. I love that I can change the song or adjust the volume by tapping or swiping across the touch interface, which is a cool feature to have. I also like how there is no branding on the earbuds, keeping it clean and stealthy. The RAV Power Portable Charger is one of the best external battery packs I've ever tried. It's a little heavy, but that's because it's packing over 20,000 mAh battery, which can charge my phone up to 4 times. It provides USB-C input and output, meaning I can charge my battery using the same charger I used to charge the Pixel 2 and my Gear Icon X, which is super convenient. The RAV Power does provide fast charging through the Quick Charge 3.0 port for any QC compatible devices. It also has 4 LED charging indicators so you know how much juice is left. It also comes with a little jawstring mesh bag to store the battery pack. A few years back, I found this minimalistic wallet on Amazon by the name of Sermon Brands. The low profile wallet is slim and light and it's made out of genuine leather with solid stitch work. It's got pockets on each side, a photo ID slot, a money clip, and most importantly, a smart pull strap for quick access to my everyday cards. For anyone who's trying to downsize their wallet, I definitely recommend checking this one out. Even with all the technology available, I still prefer using a physical notebook to jot down all the things I have to do for work. Personally, that pen to paper motion helps me better process information and memorize the things I've written down. And my choice of notebook is the Moleskin Star Wars Edition, which I purchased at a local stationery store. The weekly section allows me to write down my day-to-day -day tasks and the calendar section can be useful if you're planning or implementing future to-do lists or travel agenda. With that said, when it comes to planning, I still prefer using the Google Calendar app because I don't always have my notebook with me and my phone sends me notification to remind me whenever an event is coming up. The Moleskin also has a matching ribbon bookmark and elastic closure. If you're looking for a simple notebook for planning or just jotting down ideas, I definitely recommend this one. Speaking of writing, I use the Pigma Micron Pens from Sakura. These are the new PN, which stands for Plastic Nib. It is more durable and flexible compared to the original needle nib. The new nib is suitable for everyday multi-purpose writing, especially for people who write more heavily like me. The ink dries quickly and it does not bleed through the pages. My go-to bag for work is the Herschel Tote Bag. I know this is not your typical tech backpack, but it's able to store all my everyday carry items, and personally, I don't see the benefits of upsizing to a bigger bag that essentially does the same thing for me. I'm always looking for ways to declutter and cut down the things I don't need, and having a smaller bag like this definitely helps reinforce that approach. 
There are two internal mesh storage sleeves where I store my pens and my mouse, in which they fit perfectly. On the other side, there is a much bigger pocket where I put my notebook, earbuds, external battery, and other little things. My 15-inch MacBook Pro also fits nicely in the bag. However, due to the lack of cushioning on the sides, I do recommend using a laptop sleeve or a case for protection. For those of you who are wondering, there is another pocket outside of the bag, but it doesn't have a zipper or a velcro strap, so just to be safe, I tend to store everything internally. There is a magnetic button closure that just snaps to seal the bag. Overall, the Herschel tote bag is light and easy to carry, and it's got all the core pockets to store everything I need.